So, you want to know how I made this lightsaber? Well, keep watching this video. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we're back in Blender 2.8 once again. And I've made a lightsaber here, and I'm going to break down how I made it. Uh, I am going to do a full tutorial, and we're going to go through and make it together. But I just wanted to kind of go through my steps without taking all the, you know, pauses and whatnot and, and everything. So you can see I have a little bit of a, a blueprinty type, type of guide here. Uh, that I got off of the interstate uh, and the great thing about making lightsabers is there's so many different types of ones this is this is a great one this is one of my favorites uh, and I decided to go ahead and just use a cylinder here you see I'm just kind of just basically doing you know simple extrusions of um, of the, the the cylinder just setting up a little bit of light here um, I used uh, some some loop cuts to put in the little grip kind of ripple things in the center there and right here, I've uh, I've kind of gone through and I'm, you know, selecting all the different places. And I actually am using uh, something we don't use too often, which is up at the top there, the ability to change the uh, type of axis, I guess you would describe it as up there. So I can scale and rotate uh, the individual pieces differently. You see there with all the lines and stuff uh, up at the top there. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to be doing some stuff and talking about that because it's pretty confusing, uh, you know, being able to scale things in different directions and have them be, you know, have it work right and stuff. But I'm just adding in other parts here, just getting it down. And I know it looks like a lot, you know, when you're looking at it, but I really wanted to bring it up. I mean, you can see I'm just pretty much just extruding things, adding objects, you know, just cutting things. It's not too much, especially once you guys, uh, when, when, once I break it down, we do the full tutorial for it. Um, but it's, it's, like I said, it's much easier than you would think it was. It's actually, it's actually uh, much easier to make a lightsaber than you, than you would imagine. There's not a lot that goes into it here. So, uh, merging vertices down together uh, for, this, for this little button on the side. I'm sure it has a name. I don't know what the name of it is. <laughs> but, but it's a little, it's a little, it's a little button. It's a little button on the side. Um, yeah, cutting, cutting pieces out and moving them around. I'm going to do the triangles here. So yeah, I believe so. It's just super easy. People, how do you get those buttons? You just made a plane. Just push the two to get the two top verses together, merge them, uh, up at the top with the object and then just, you know, extrude them backwards to make them 3d super easy hitting control P to parent things together. Uh, instead of merging them and combining them, I don't like combining objects because I want to be able to uh, keep them separate if I want to do something with them later on. Um, so I just hit Control P, hold down Shift, and select uh, the smaller object and the bigger object that I want to parent it to, and then parenting it to the side there. I'll do that with this in a second. You'll see once I'm done modeling it. Um, but yeah, the, the best thing to do is to move things around in edit mode instead of in object mode, so the origin stays the same. Uh, so the origin stays in the same exact place. If you move it around in uh, object mode, then the entire origin will change. You're just moving where the object is. But if you're moving things around in edit mode, then you are moving the vertices themselves and not the entire uh, object and the pivot point and whatever, whatnot, you know. Moving on to the little dangly, little dangle chain here. The little, It's like a little clip, you know, to put on your belt. But like, I, I don't really see too many Jedi's doing that I don't know but it's a little little clip thing the famous little clip thing and I'm, I'm making that bad boy right now which was actually a bit more of a struggle I used a plane and then I just uh, I just uh, extruded it inward and deleted the inside face to make it a, a triangle but make it hollow uh, then I just kind of extruded it backwards give it some thickness and put a subsurf modifier on it and it kind of did that and now you can see I'm doing a little the little notch on top of there because uh, it didn't actually have that in the blueprint, but I just thought it ne needed one. I thought it was necessary. Have a little, a little like bolty thing to keep it in place, I guess. I'm pretty much done with the lightsaber itself. Just gonna do the actual light of the lightsaber. That was the entire saber, okay? This is the light part. This is the light part. And I couldn't decide if I wanted to do this with a subsurf modifier and then just round the edge of it, or do it by hand, which, as you can see right now, I'm doing. I just, I, I didn't think I could get, I didn't think I could get it round enough, but I did. Uh, use uh, smooth shading. And then look at that, boom, there we go. Just real quick, right there, show you. Put uh, an emission shader on the lightsaber and just bumped it up to like 100 or something by the time it was done, I believe. 
um, and then turn Bloom on in the scene tab here. And like I said, all this stuff I'm going to break down when we do the full tutorial, which is going to be probably about five parts. It took me around 50 minutes to do this. So it's probably going to be five or six, maybe probably six parts since I got to explain a lot of things, maybe even seven, but it'll be some kind of parts. I try to do longer uh, parted tutorials, I guess you want to call them every once in a while. We haven't done one in a while now. I think the last one we did was what Pokemon, the Pokemon Detective Pikachu uh, video. I, I can't remember what the last long one we did was. It's like seven parts. Uh, but anyway, 11. Actually, the, the Detective Pikachu, I think, was 11 parts. But yeah. So going through here, adding a little bit of metallic to all the things. As you can see, I'm assigning different parts of the lightsaber to different colors uh, by selecting them and just hitting a sign over there, holding down shift to select more than, more than one face. Uh, same thing on this little, the little, little, little buttony button, the little buttony button. Um, but yeah, so we got a lot of gold in here. I was trying to, trying to do like a limited edition looking lightsaber. It's all with the black and the gold. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so it's really just getting the materials down at this point. Um, cause I'm pretty much done. I'm just, you know, making sure everything looks the way that I want it now. Uh, and I did do some extra stuff with particles, but I decided to get rid of it. Like particles coming out of the, like the, the tip of the place where the light actually comes out of, but that is it. I got rid of all the particles, didn't like it, but, uh, but yeah, that's it. I really, really, really like this. I think it came out really well. I really enjoy them. Hope you enjoy them. Hope you're excited for the tutorials, which are not going to be too far away. Uh, like I said, probably six or seven parts or something like that. But I will see you guys in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.